you know, I just thought it's time, you know, hey, we got to, you know, we got to, we can't be quiet on this stuff. I'm a guy, you know, married over 40, you know, 43 years, uh, three adult children, 14 grandchildren, and grandchildren are um, uh, males, black males. So, you know, uh, in the United States, you know, the odds are not too good if you're a black male on what can happen. And if you're looking back in the history, it's not too great for females either. So, you know, what I'm looking for when I'm hearing a candidate talk is what are you saying, you know, uh, directly or indirectly implied or inferred, you know, what are you saying that lets me know that you're dealing with understanding, especially in today's time, that you're dealing with this understanding that we have these systems of racism, white supremacy, police brutality, oppression, and the like. Now, I know Mike has got an appointment out there and he's talking all this stuff about change and I'm going to make it great when I get in there and all this type of foolishness. But look, I'm not hearing him saying a word on what he's going to do about systemic racism, what he's going to do about white supremacy, what he's going to do about officers are that are not doing what they're supposed to do and being held accountable. You know, everything I hear is, you know, he he's throwing, he's lobbing stones about what he's going to do. What I'm seeing in Mike is Mike is a person that I've known since he was a, a young kid when I was working in the state attorney's office. When he was a young kid, just working as, I think I met him when he was a high school student, high school student, coming in working in the summers as a clerk and uh you know it's a great love story because his wife was there too and he met his wife they were both young kids working there met his wife and you know the rest is history on that that love story but what i saw was a person that came in that you know he put the work in as a college student as a law student and then as assistant state's attorney but in in this in in you know in this time I, you know, people can talk about wrongful convictions. I understand that. You can talk about domestic battery, but you know, I don't know a state's attorney in the United States that's not serious on domestic battery. So whoever that is, that's like an easy issue. Everybody's going to focus in on that type of situation. But if I don't hear you talking about systemic racism, white supremacy, and the like, and what type of pro, uh, programs and policies and things you're going to put in place to deal with that? I can't deal with you. Plus, on top of that, you know, as opponent, you know, you're not you're not even from Lake County, so you know, yeah, you're a lawyer, and you know, he's a nice guy and all of that. But you know, you running for Lake County State's Attorney? I've not heard you talk anything about what you know about the people in this community. Now, I've been living in this community since 1968, a young 10 year old, 10 or 11 when we moved here from Chicago. And you know, we have a very diverse community, young, old, rich, poor, rural, urban, Republican, Democrat, independent, yet, you know, it is diverse in every type of way. And, uh, and so we need somebody that, you know, you come in here and you practice law and you didn't handle some cases. But if you haven't got to know the community, you know, like Mike has, what, what's this you talking about change? I don't want to hear buzzword talking about change. Give me some words behind what you're talking about when you're talking about change. Change what? What are you going to change? Are you going to change police brutality? Are you going to change racism? Are you going to change white supremacy? What are you going to do on that? The time is now to stop the game playing, to stop using language that puts these words and in, in, in pictures in, in people's faces that make it seem like you, you, you're the person for the time is now. If you're the person for the time is now, give me a list of who you've been talking to in Lake County addressing these issues 
since the time that you have been an attorney in Lake County, dealing with race, dealing with white supremacy, dealing with police brutality, dealing with oppression, dealing with housing issues. Give me that list. And you're not going to do it because you're not in the community. You're not doing anything in the community. But now you want to come into the community and holler at the change. No, no, we don't need not. That's not the change we need. What we need is a steady hand, a person that's fair, a person that's trusted, a person that's responsible, and a person that understands, hey, I understand there is systemic racism. I understand that we have some police that are doing some things that they should. Now, this is Mike Nearheim. They're saying, as a prosecutor, now that's change. As a prosecutor, they're saying from the prosecutor's chair, I know that it's systemic racism. I know that it's white supremacy. And you know what? I want to do some things about it. And I want to help where I can. See, now that's, that's the change I want to see. Now, if you're not talking about that kind of change, dude, keep practicing law. You know, you hear it now. You know, I'm hearing in the election campaign, they're talking this stuff about, you know, you got one side. I don't want to jump on where people are. But I'm going to just say it, law and order. Now, when they talk, when, when they scream, oh, law and order, this type of language, we know exactly what picture that you're painting. Okay? Now, when we holler, when you hollering as, as an opponent to the state's attorney, we hollering, and you hollering change. Dude, I understand this language. But it's coming through to me that you're not serious on this issue of race. That's the way it's coming through to me. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you, you might be more heavy handed in this area because you're not addressing it. You're not talking about it. I need a Lake County where, where, and, and I, and I got to say, <laughs> I like Lake County. Now, I would have moved a long time ago. Now, we have issues in Lake County, no doubt about it, on all type of various of issues. And, um, but I like a community where we have a prosecutor in Mike Nearheim that, you know, he didn't just appear out of, poof, thin air and say, you know what, I want to run and be the, the state's attorney. Like I said, he put the work in, started from the ground up, out in the community, getting to know people as a high school student, as a college student, as a law student, you know, as the state's attorney, never leaving the community. He's, he's from Waukegan. You know, now here these people won't come in I want a, I want somebody in a Lake County that you committed to Lake County. Not that you committed to Lake County because you see an opportunity because of the way you think the political landscape is that opens up a door for you to slide in talking about making all these grand promises of what you're going to do. But where are you from? What's your community like? Where are you from? How are those people addressing these issues of race? You see, now, now we don't hear that. I just hear holler and change. So I need a community where we got a situation where if we need to talk to the state's attorney, we can call up and, and, and talk to him. But there's been too many situations before in the past when you wanted to call on your local leaders and you wanted to talk about the issues in the community. You couldn't get them to listen to them. They couldn't hear you, didn't want to listen. So I want a Lake County, just like it is now. We, we have good people, you know, trying to do the best that they can. You know, there's disagreement. There's some people even in, in my own, you know, my own party that I got strong disagreements with. You know, I like them, but some, some stuff I just don't uh, agree with. 
And there's other people in other parties that I definitely don't agree with, you know, but and there's some things that I do. And so I think we need a, a, a county where my kids can grow up, they can go to school, they can go out and go to sports without getting attacked or getting called names. They can have the opportunity to grow and prosper and live the dreams that they want to live. And they can do this all in a safe environment, all from this environment of, of racial hostility, all from this oppressive white supremacy, all from this, all with an idea that you're a human person and you can achieve what you want. Now, are we there yet? No, not, not yet. But I, I, I got to say, Lake County is closer than others. Is it, 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 you know, it's probably it's, now some people are gonna say, now nah, Tory, wait, wait, dude, hold up. You you just don't know. What I'm saying is from my point of view, there are things that can get better. And there's and that's always what we have to do. We can't sit on the present. There's always gonna be change. There's always ways that we should be looking to innovate and do some things. And what I see in Mike as a state's attorney is somebody that understands that the innovation that we need, the good thinking and ideas that we need, it doesn't always come from the top stratosphere. It always doesn't come from the person with the greatest degrees or the greatest level of experience in business, education and so on. But it's from regular ordinary people that you go out and talk to. And that's what Mike does, goes out and talks to regular ordinary people, meet them where they're at, the Rotary Clubs, you know, they're, um, the, 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 the book clubs, the community events, the parades, so on and so forth, getting these ideas from these people because the people nearest to the problem, the people that don't have, you know, the light shining on them or the platform, that is where our great ideas lie. That is where our great innovation and wisdom lies. And and that's what I want to see for Lake County. That's what I that's what I think we have in Mike Nearheim as a person is, is not sitting there at the top and saying, I know everything. Listen to what I say. Change. I got the answer. I know exactly what it's going to be. No. Who knows what it's going to be tomorrow? If we sitting at this time last year, who knew that we're going to be in a pandemic? the world is going to shut down and come to a complete halt, that we're going to have a policeman kneel on a man's neck for nine minutes in view of the world. Who knew? And this is life. And so that's the Lake County I want to see. That's the type of prosecutor I want to see, a person that understands life in full, life in total, not just some political slogan.